I've been off Exempic for six months after being on it for one year. Today I'll explain to you why I went on it, why I went off it, and what's happened in the six plus months that I've been off it. Hi, I'm Denise and this is Travels in My Chair. Today we're going to talk about my journey with Exempic, the good and the bad, and what it's been like in the six months that I've been off it. So welcome I'm glad you could join me today. I was on Ozempic for a whole year and during that year I went through hell and I know some of you have done that and some of you haven't. As you know I have metatastic breast cancer that's gone to my bone. I also have MS which keeps me in a wheelchair so I'm not very mobile and I also have type 2 diabetes. Well, I was gaining weight and my doctor was worried that uh, the diabetes numbers were going up and my A1C or, and my blood sugars were increasing. So he decided I should go on a Zempic. Now I should say at that same time that I went on a Zempic, my oncologist had put me on a drug called Pavlosebla, which is, or Ibrance, which is kind of like a chemotherapy oral drug and the combination of the two drugs didn't let me eat and at first I blamed the palvocebla for it because my doctor reduced my dosage of the azempic till I was at the lowest dosage but it got to the point where I was absolutely not able to eat at all period and I lost about 20 pounds the hard way not eating and not wanting to eat. Now some of you who are obese would be going, yay, you lose the weight, all right, I'll do anything to lose the weight. But there's a lot of things that go on with that weight loss too. So when I say I couldn't eat, I'm not lying at all. To have a teaspoon of wild rice at dinner, three mouths of, mouthfuls of salmon, a little bit of salad, and that would be about it. I wasn't eating, uh, I was getting weaker, and there's side effects to Zempic. When we finally realized that the problems I was having that went on for a full year was the Azempic and not the Pavlosebla, then we went into action. So for those of you who have been Following the news lately, Ozempic is everywhere. The celebrities are using it for weight loss. I understand that in the States, when I was looking at the news yesterday, our Canadian news, that in the States it can be $1,000 a month to be on Ozempic. And in Canada, what wasn't covered by my medical plan was costing $250 a month until it finally was fully covered by my medical. Some people that aren't on the up and up are selling our Zempic down to the state, which is giving us a shortage for people with diabetes, which the drug was manufactured for in the first place. I understand that if you are morbidly obese, you're going to get any opportunity that you can use to help you lose weight. And I, hey, I get it. It is so easy to put weight on and it's so difficult to put take weight off. But what happens if you look back at all the years from the Aikens diet to even Weight Watchers, every diet plan that's been marketed since gosh the 50s, how many people actually were able to remove the weight and stay off the weight? I mean even Oprah, right? She got down to a very thin little Oprah and it didn't take long for her to get back to the big Oprah. And I think that's pretty common for losing weight and then gaining it back after you've finished the diet that you've been on. And I'm only saying this because I don't think that jury's out yet on a Zempic, that if when you go off the drug, because you will eventually, will that weight come slowly back? And then if it does, was it worth it putting your body through a year of hell or two years or however long you stay on a Zempic? For me, I stayed on it for a year. I wasn't happy, I wasn't eating, and I was getting scared. Because I, if I look at some of my videos from two years ago, my cheeks were plump like little squirrels. You know, I started losing hair when, when I went on the Pablo Cibla, so I can't blame Ozempic for that. But, I, you know, I was losing weight. And I was losing weight in my legs and my arms, not in my stomach so much, but a little bit, you know. I didn't want to lose any more. And I certainly didn't want to stay on Ozempic. It was making me too uncomfortable. And I can't, I'm saying uncomfortable, but I'm hesitating because I. it didn't make me feel sick, you know? It just made me not want to eat and therefore I didn't have any energy, which I don't have much anyway. So 
having none was pretty bad. After I went off the Ozempic, I then sat back to wonder if I would actually gain all the weight back that I had lost during that year on Ozempic. And I'll be happy to tell you, the first month that I was off the drug, my appetite didn't come leaping back like I thought it would. It slowly got a little bit better. One of the things that I have not recovered at all, which is okay by me, I can't drink wine at all anymore. The sugar in it, I just, it almost gives me a reaction where I get kind of lightheaded and get all dizzy and stuff. And I don't like desserts. I can still eat a wine gum or something, but I, I, sugary treats? No. So that's a good thing, eh? I mean, that's really what Ozempic is doing, is making you feel full faster, but it's also making you not want the sugar so that your pancreas and everything can balance out. So here I was, not back to my normal eating habits by any stretch of the imagination, but that was a good thing. So if that's happening to you, if you've been off Ozempic and you found that you haven't rapidly gained weight back and that you're maintaining the weight that you were on when you went off of Zempic, maybe pop a comment down below because I think people would be interested to know. I think with the side effects of Zempic, and you've probably read all the information if you haven't looked back at one of my other videos, you know you have to argue with yourself as to whether it's worth it or not if you're just using it for weight loss. If you are using it in conjunction with your diabetes med medicine and it's working for you and your A1C numbers are going down to normal, so say around six, that would be a reason to maybe say, hmm, it's been a successful experiment. Do I think you should stay on a Zempic indefinitely? No, I don't. And I sure don't think you should stay on it if it's just strictly for weight loss. Because I think anybody who's struggled with weight over the years, and I've got friends that have lost a lot of weight and then gained it back, and sometimes it's taken two or three years to get it all back. If you've been gaining weight and you're obese and you have type 2 diabetes, then a Zempic, if you can handle it, might be the way to go. Because if you've tried other ways of losing weight and you absolutely can't do it, and your diabetes numbers are getting out of control, your sugar, blood sugar is climbing and climbing and climbing, then you're in danger. You're, you know, you're in danger of circulatory problems, respiratory problems, your eyes. Something that you should talk to your doctor about and be really honest as to whether or not Ozempic is for you. Because if you're in the States, it can be expensive. Is your body going to go through the angst of losing, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds over a year and then get it right back and what have you you've done for a year you've suffered I don't know if it's worth it I mean that's I guess something that you've got to look at within yourself okay for me being on a Zempic for that year was absolute hell I would sit at the table sometimes and cry because I couldn't eat no and, and it wasn't like I felt like I was going to throw up guys it was my nose would smell the food green beans oatmeal and coffee were my worst and any meat that was cooking would tell my brain. My brain would tell my mouth, couldn't eat. And as I was getting weaker, it was, I realized it was getting more and more difficult for me to fight the cancer that was going through my body. And I needed to take care of that first. I have not gained the weight back. I feel good. My cancer's holding its own. If you go off the azampic, do you feel that you're going to be prone to gaining the weight back or do you think that you have the willpower to take that whole year of work that you've gone through and the money that you spent on the drug to keep eating habits that are good for you without the sugar the white bread the white rice all that stuff because if you do go back to your old eating habits then you will gain weight but you might be like me where that year on Ozempic said whoa you still really can't eat this stuff because it doesn't make you feel good. It's been six and a half months, so we'll check again when it's been a year and see. I, I mean, I think I've gained a little bit of weight back because I'm eating more, but I'm not eating a whole lot more. Meat's still an if. Raw vegetables are okay. Desserts, mm, you know, I'd rather not. So if that's the case, then I guess I'd have to come clean and say that being on that Ozempic for a year, if it permanently takes care 
of my sugar cravings, then it's been successful. If I haven't permanently taken care of those sugar cravings, then it was a year of nothing. So think about it, guys, okay? Do what's good for you. You're the most important person. If you're carrying a lot of weight around, it's not healthy for any of your organs. And this is something you should talk to your doctor very seriously about. Thank you for joining me today. And I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Think about you guys always. Appreciate every single one of your comments. Please subscribe if you haven't. And spring is here and today is a beautiful day. All my flowers are beginning to start thinking about coming into bloom. And I can't wait to be out, get back in our little motorhome and get traveling again. See you in a couple of weeks. Bye for now. Preparing Easter dinner. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. No, happy Easter. Um, a jam? Yeah, no. My son Keith. God, no, don't go in there. Oh, no. Cutting branches so that my brother can come and visit us at Easter with his motorhome. Would you like another one? I always just only give him little bits. Here, here. Okay, come on up, Ross. So what, what day? Yeah.